thank you so much for joining me this Saturday morning. I like to start my morning off with a cup of hot coffee. And this little curry of mine I love, but I have to pray it into working every single morning. And today, it worked on the first try. Next, I get cleaned up and I get my makeup on and my hair done. When you have a big family, it's nice to get the bathroom to yourself and everyone else is asleep, so it's the perfect time. When you get ready for the day next, I hope you can think on these thoughts from Psalm 139, starting in verse 13. You, God, made all the delicate inner parts of my body. You knit me together in my mother's womb. Thank you for making me so wonderfully complex. Your workmanship is marvelous, how well I know it. You watched me as I was being formed in utter seclusion. As I was woven together in the dark of the womb, you saw me before I was born. Every day of my life was recorded in your book. Every moment was laid out before a single day had passed. How precious are your thoughts about me, O oh God. They cannot be numbered. I can't even count them. They outnumber the grains of sand. And when I wake up, you are still with me. Determine that today you're going to do your best and know that your best is enough. When you fail, you can say you're sorry and you can forgive yourself and move forward. It's easy to focus on things I wish I could change about myself that are not changeable. I need to learn to accept myself, be at peace with myself, and to improve the things I can improve. I need to work on love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. These are the fruits of the Spirit and they're the things that God wants to help me with.
enjoy getting completely ready for the day first and then starting my work. This is how I put on my oxygen mask first before I start helping others. I like to start by getting the dishwasher empty and that way as people get up and start using dishes they can go right in the dishwasher and I don't have a sink full of dishes. I get the laundry out of the dryer that was washed the night before and I get it separated so that when people get up they can take their clean laundry and get it folded and put away. There were years that I didn't prioritize getting my bed made. Now that I'm in the habit of getting it made every morning, it honestly does make a big difference to my day. I honestly feel more productive and more at peace when my bed is made. chores are done, I like to spend some time studying my Bible and praying. A friend of mine gave me this book and it gives you verses that you can pray through. You can put your name in and the names of people that you're praying for. I like to write down my prayers because it helps me to stay focused. Next, I read my favorite devotional and I write down verses that stick out to me, like this one that I was writing today. But I will sing of your strength. In the morning I will sing of your love. For you are my fortress, my refuge in times of trouble. O oh, my strength, I sing praise to you. O oh, God, you are my fortress, my loving God. Psalm 59, 16-17 Thank you so much for watching today. If you like this video, I hope you'll hit the like button so I know to make more. I hope you'll consider subscribing so that you'll know when I upload new videos and that you'll hit the bell notification. I love you so much and God loves you too. Bye!